The difference between a manager and a leader is that managers only have one job, leaders have three. Hi, I'm Dr Chris Day. I'm going to talk to you today about leadership. Managers, I'll start with managers, managers just get the task done. They're very concerned with who, what, where, how, how much. They supervise the task, they supervise the people, they make sure that they get the outcomes that are wanted by the organisation. By contrast, leaders have three jobs. Of course the first one is to get the task done. There's no point in being a leader of anything unless you're getting something done. However, there are two more aspects to leadership that don't really involve management so much. The first is creating a cohesive, uh, tightly knit team who work very well together. How do you create this? How do you maintain it? These are the skills of leadership. If you doubt that, I'm, that this is an important thing, just think about teams that are factionalized and, and uh, full of problems and trouble and disputes, and you'll see that this is a really important quality of a leader. This, the third task of a leader is to build the capabilities of individual group members. When people in groups are encouraged to expand their capabilities, to express themselves, of course that group can accomplish a lot more than other groups. People are, the people in them who are having their capabilities expanded are satisfied, they're energised, they're exhilarated, they're growing and developing. Most people are happy about that. My question to you is, are you managing or leading? If you're managing, well done, you're getting the task done. However, if you want to move to the next level, you need to learn some of the skills and qualities of a leader. Leaders, main, managing is maintaining the status quo. Leading is taking your whole organisation and group forward. I run half-day workshops teaching people how to move from managing to leadership. For more information, please contact me on my website.